Hello Aquarius. Let's see what your message is. But whenever you do this, Aquarius, I feel peace. Aquarius. If you don't have peace now, it's coming. This is good news. This is taking action. Um, whoa, really fast news. This is being balanced. Capricorn energy. Uh, wow. Talk about being balanced. Divine masculine, divine feminine balance. Inside. So the outside is balanced. Aquarius. 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 These two cards were in the Capricorn reading, so if you were dealing with a Capricorn. There you go. <clears throat> Things are moving fast. Speeding up the world. Wow, with the sun. Whoa. Look at that. Could be dealing with a Cancer Spicy Scorpio. Definitely a Cancer energy here. Gemini, Leo, Taurus, Pisces again. Um, let's see. Okay. Fire signs. There's a message, a deep knowing. You, you know something. There's deep regret. Hmm. Okay. Sadness here. Aquarius. Aquarius. Hmm. Page of Wands. This is good news. Something you're passionate about. Could be about a marriage. And something to do with lies and cheating. Um, more good news about work huh the world and the magician for Aquarius the six of cups the sun the three of cups The High Priestess is the Three of Wands with Eight of Wands. Okay. So something's happening really fast. Something you're really passionate about it. You see it and there's a new cycle beginning. It makes you really, really happy. And you have a deep knowing that it makes you really, really happy. There's judgment here. This is karma. This is a resurrection. Something being raised up. Um, you're coming from your heart. You could also be dealing with a water sign, but this is um, this is creating from your heart what you truly love. Here with the Page of Wands, there's some kind of good news because you're creating, you're balanced. This is a higher learning card, um, wisdom and uh, knowledge. Seven of Swords is someone getting or trying to get away with something. There's conflict here. There's people fighting in the background. And this is the Page of Pentacles, which is good news. I don't know how that's good news, but you know your own story. <laughs> the world here with the Magician. Magician, is he's manifesting. He has everything that he needs. Um, something could have made you happy when you were a child. This is a card of nostalgia, innocence, kindness, generosity, purity of spirit. You could be um, reminiscing over the past a lot. This is a card to remind you of to be present. The sun is the happiest card in the deck and six of swords is moving away from difficulty. Uh, the three of cups is happiness. There's a lot of cups here. You could have water in your chart, um, but this is a celebration and a reunion. The high priestess with the eight of wands Again, this is a deep knowing, some kind of a message from spirit. Um, or it could be from a tarot reader, right? Um, 
this is abundance coming in. This is waiting on your ships to come in with the three of wands. You know that the message is going to come in. Good news. You hear exactly what you, you need to. Hmm. The star card and the king of wands with the ten of pentacles. So you're creating something um, that that lasts a lifetime or for lifetimes because there's many people in this card there's a grandfather there's children and there's a happy couple and some dogs um this is the he creates he takes action uh king energy fire um, aries leo sagittarius he's looking right at this aquarius card here you are balanced lovely and um standing in your power suit you, <laughs> someone's looking at you and your truth and is admiring you. They think you're beautiful and you shine like a star. Um, this is a card of wish fulfillment, faith, hope, and love. This could also be you taking action on what lights you up, your true north star. In which I kind of feel like it is with the sun shining here on you. You're taking action on what makes you happy. It's quick and the world sees you for who you are. You're shining for what you came to do on this earth. 